Hey, what's up, guys? This is Trump for Peace with a informative video. Now, hoppers have been around for quite some time now, but people are still unsure of what to do with them, or what they do, or what not. So, this video should hopefully explain at least some of the questions or problems that people are wondering. Now, first of all, I would like to point out that hoppers do have a dip. But if you place carpet, or, sli or slabs on them, you won't have that. You won't, you won't fall in, much like uh, cauldrons. The next thing I'd like to know is that half a hopper is that a hopper combined with a redstone comparator does give out a redstone signal. So I got this hopper filled up halfway, so I got two and a half stacks out of five slots. And it is filled up approximately half of 15, of a, of a full 15 redstone power source. Much like a chest does when you go just one full stack over half of half chest. And now the next thing I am like, I want to show is with the main purpose of hoppers item sorting or item transportation now hoppers are nice with this because you can transport a large amount of quality of items without actually having to do it so you can just dump all of your items into this chest here just like just like this but then once but then once once the hoppers go through and all that you will notice that they don't they don't fill up the next chest right away the thing you have to keep in mind and that most people seem to forget is that hoppers do have inventory spaces they do have legitimate inventory spaces so if if you have a chest that that, that fills up completely you have to wait until the hopper fills up completely before the next chest will start filling up And it doesn't matter how you do it. Well, pretty much the way you have to think of it is pretty much like this. This is pretty much generally how all hoppers work. It doesn't matter how you how you place them. You can place them like that. You can place them like that. It doesn't matter how you have them. They all work like this. The bottom gets filled first, and then the hoppers, and then the next chest up. And, and even like this way here, too is the same idea the bottom hopper gets the bottom chest gets filled up then the bottom hopper then the then the next one ups and so on and so on and yeah a lot of I don't a lot of people seem to forget that I just put this here as a reminder and then another thing that people might not know about hoppers is that they can be powered by a redstone. If they're powered by redstone, they don't they don't flow. I have these two hoppers into each other because this is actually a hopper clock. So if I turn this off, you'll see that this chest starts going. And that's because I have one item in this hopper that goes between these two. And this redstone comparator is taking the single item and making a single redstone output, saying, or making a single redstone signal strength, which is going into this repeater, which is creating a full one. And yeah, that's something. And if we just stop this one, it'll stop it. If you guys would like to see more on different blocks or items or whatever that are in the game that you don't quite know don't be ashamed there are quite a lot of items in the game that they do end up getting confusing but if you would like to know if you would like to leave a suggestion for a further for a future video please leave a comment if you liked this video leave a like and if you want to see some more of my videos don't forget to subscribe 
I am trying to upload videos on a more regular basis. So, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. A Peace!